one of the greatest gods that I worship very much actually beside Tiamat and Leviathan. Of course Tiamat and Leviathan are a part of my dragon eye. They are the ones that created it. But of course inside of my dragon's path I also came to know a lot of other different kind of dragons, you know. Like I had the privilege, <laughs> and a lot of us have that of course, the privilege to meet other dragons. And of course I was desperate to know other dragon gods. If to know if there is more than Leviathan or Tiamat. And of course, there are so much more. So every single element on this earth represents a dragon. Of course, earth, air, water, fire, you know, all of them, the embodiments of them are dragons. That is also the reason why, why when this world was created, the first beings on this world were dinosaurs, made after their image, after the image of the dragon. And a lot of people just don't want to accept that because, yeah, they are not humans. They're not humans at all. That means that they are not so important as they, as they thought that they were. They are not the number one creature. How strange is that? They will never accept that as some kind of a religion, especially not a religion or even a spirituality. That is why they will never accept the dragon's path or draconic wicca in general. But what I want to say, Favnir, Favnir is one of them that I came to know inside of my path. Favnir started off just like us, a human being on this world, just as a mortal, just as you and me, that we are to talking with each other, just as a mortal. But he was corrupted by greed and so did a lot of horrible stuff when he was uh, a human being. But then he came to meet Odin's gold, you know, Odin. That is, a lot of people, um, you know, when, when you say that you are pagan, most of the time they believe, oh, then you worship Odin. Well, actually, no. To be very honest, I don't like Odin of what he has done to Favnir. Favnir was, in fact, uh, a human being just like you and me, but with a dragon spirit. And after a while, you know, when he saw all of this gold, he wanted to keep it for himself. But he didn't know that this gold was already given. And that is also something that happens uh, in Seir. If, if you give something to a god, then it's remained to be given. Then it's blessed by a god. So uh, that is also the reason why you don't enter a church. Because this is, all of this, enter, uh, uh, if, if you enter a, uh, a, uh, a church, then everything that is inside of the church is being given to their god. Even though I don't believe that Yahweh is a god, it's still given to that. So that is also the reason why it was burning up and not having uh, enough air. So that is also what happened to the treasure that Favnir found. It was actually being given to Odin. And Odin is a god, of course, a god of I don't know what, <laughs> but he's not a dragon god, so I don't mind. Um, but he's still a god, a god of a different light, a different star somewhere in the universes. And, but of course, we don't belong there. But Farvenir belonged with us. And that is also the reason why the, this gold actually transformed himself into what, that what he actually truly is. Inside of, this, of, inside of his soul, he was a dragon. And that is what is shown after a while because this gold, you know, cursed his body. His bo actually cursed his body because everyone from then on wanted to kill Farvenir. And that is typically humans. Humans. Uh, of course, they, want, they also have this greed, and it showed that. It showed that everyone wanted the gold of Odin. But now there is Favnir that stands in their way of not taking the gold. And now um, everyone tried, of course, to, to kill Favnir and to take away the gold. Until one man succeeded in his task and killed eventually the body of Favnir. But of course, Favnir, you can say it, he was cursed. But you, I can say he was also blessed, because from then on he died as a dragon, but not simply a dragon, because he was the first and only dragon that could actually um, master fire elements. Fire, and that is also where it came from that dragons breathe fire. Of course, when you, whenever you see a dragon in media, a dragon in so, everywhere, it doesn't matter where, a dragon breathes fire. And that is where it comes from, from Favnir. Favnir, the fire dragon. So, um, Favnir was eventually destroyed by Siegfried. And um, after a while, his uh, body was being merged with fire in itself. Fire that will never ever 
extinguish, extinguish, sorry, that will never go out, <laughs> excuse me, that will never go out, the fire that will never ever die, and that is eventually what Fafnir became, Fafnir became the eternal flame, the eternal fire, but not fire for everyone of course, he became something like a god, something like a god because he merged himself with fire, he is the sun, he is the warmth inside of us, but he is much more than that. Fafnir can also be the one that is your, you can say it, your father. You are the one that is actually creating your, um, your dragon eye, your dragon circle. Just as Tiamat and Leviathan could do as well, or Quetzalcoatl could do as well, that is also something that Fafnir could do, because the flames are eternal. Once he became one with the flames and the fire, he also became one with eternity. What came before, what came after. Everything that, uh, of a flame that you can see is still Fafnir. That is the reason why flames and fire and candles in itself are still very much represented on my dragon altar because that is one of the main elements that is actually very important. And that is, um, I try to connect with Fafnir a lot of times, many times. Fafnir is actually the father of many of us. Oh my goddess, so many of us uh, that I ca came to realize that Fafnir is one of the main gods, the main dragon gods, even though he was born as a human being, but he was born like you and me, was born with a special ability inside of themselves, something that humanity might not even understand what actually was going on inside of him. And that is also the reason why he was cursed and blessed at the same time once he was touching, touched by Odin. And that is sometimes I, I don't like the fact, we are also pagans, we are very much pagans, actually much more pagan than people who believe in Odin or th things like this. Actually I, 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 I don't really know if I should believe in Odin or not, but yeah that is because, because it happened. Because it happened, he was touched by the treasure of Odin and he became a god, so actually I should believe it. But the thing is, I don't mind Odin, I don't care about Odin. And that is what a lot of people say, you are pagan, so you love Odin. I don't, I don't very much. And, what if, and that is the worst thing that you can do to a dragon, to take away his freedom to take away his mind, because that is what, is, was, was, what was taken away from him by Odin's treasure, um, his mind his free will, everything was gone, so he was a slave from then on. That is the worst thing that you can do to a dragon, very, very worst thing, that you take away a dragon's freedom. But the, uh, you know, um, people who are actually, that I call uh, Fafnir's children, are f children of the flame, children of fire, and the children of fire are yeah, like, like I said, they are very fierce, they are very, but very open-minded as well, they are um, very powerful, very good in healing. Oh my goddess, very good in healing because, yeah, that is what it is. You know, they could destroy Fafnir, but yet he still goes on. As his spirit was one with the fire, you cannot, go, uh, you cannot exchange with, oh goddess, uh, you cannot put out the fire of Fafnir. You cannot do that. And that is uh, perfect, you know, you know that, is, that is actually what our spirit is. You know, it's all based on Fafnir's fire. Our spirit, the, the dragon spirit, your spirit, your spirit is eternal. Your spirit is, and that is not what humans are. Human spirits are not eternal, but dragon spirits are very much eternal. And that is uh, also because of Fafnir. Fafnir is, Fafnir's energy became eternal once he touched himself with the fire. He was the dragon, the dra fire dragon actually, you can say. Because not all of the dragons are fire breathers, not all of the dragons are fire in itself, but their spirit is fire. A, a fire that cannot go out. A fire that is truly one with eternity. And that is what lives inside of you. And that is why you can connect with Fafnir so well. Because your spirit is always having a connection with Fafnir. The one that, and, and that is also Fafnir, know what it was to be born as a human being, but to be different. Yet to be different, and yet to be cursed. And that is what you also are. You are cursed by the dragon. Or you can say blessed by the dragon. Depends on how you want to see your path. And um, of course, 
you can have connection with all of the dragon gods. You can have connection with Tiamat and Fafnir and Leviathan, all of these dragon gods. But, um, you know, one of these dragon gods is the closest to you. And I've, I've came to meet a lot of people where Fafnir is the closest to them. And Fafnir, oh my goddess, they are actually very much different. For example, that my main dragon goddess is Tiamat and Leviathan is, is right after her. So actually my dragon eye is completely different than people who are actually very close to Fafnir. So we are all going to be different. Yet we all share the same thing. The flames of Fafnir. We all share it. We are all the same in that. There is nothing different about that. We all share the same energy. And that is because of Fafnir. Fafnir energy runs through your veins. It's still the fire that goes on. It's the fire that goes through your breath. It's the fire of the dragon. And the fire of the dragon comes with Fafnir's energy. Fafnir's power that lives inside of you, in lives inside of me, that lives here in this world that we are still connecting with. So yeah, Odin or not, uh, I don't mind that because that is a different God, different light. But eventually he made Fafnir what it was, what he actually was, what it actually was supposed to be. He became the dragon of fire. 